Attention, Earthies. There is a sweater weather advisory mm -hmm. for autumn. You know what that means. <laughs> Time for some candles. <laughs> Katie here and Shyla from Simply Earth and we've got a really great fall candle recipe that is gonna be so nice while you're cozied up in your nice wool sweater or snuggie. Snuggies are also a great fall option. Have your candle burning next to you and you're, you're just gonna love it. So for this recipe you're gonna want half a cup of soy wax which is about one and a half ounces, a tablespoon of solid coconut oil and a tablespoon of beeswax. And which essential oils are we using this time, Katie? Good questions. We're using cassia, which has a warm, sweet cinnamon scent that I really like for fall, mm -hmm. and balsam fir, which has a really, like a conifer, woodsy kind of smell. Smells scent. really nice. It's really good to use at Christmas, too. So you're also gonna want a wick and a container to put your candle in. So these wicks are actually included in your recipe box. You don't have to hunt for them. Yeah, so shout out to our subscribers who get this awesome candle making box this month. Mm -hmm. So you're also gonna want some containers, um, or just one. We're gonna make about a two ounce candle and had a lot of fun going to Goodwill and we're gonna use this one. I think it's an old Sunday dish. Mm. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get started. All right. So right away, we're just gonna melt our waxes and coconut oil in our double boiler. All right, I'm gonna put the candle wax in first. And this is soy candle wax, am I right? Yep. So you can make a candle just by using soy wax or even just a beeswax candle, but we're going to mix these ingredients together to get more out of our ingredients. It also creates a really nice smooth burn um, that so your candle doesn't just pile in the middle. Get, It'll burn kind of evenly. Like a bowl effect. Yes, that's what I'm looking for. It'll burn evenly. All right, they're all in there. Now we just gotta wait for them to melt. Yep. You can also do this in your microwave at home if you don't want to use a double boiler. Yeah, if you do use it in your microwave, be sure to use it, um, heat it up in small increments, like 15 seconds. Because if you overdo it, your candles it won't turn out quite right. And also, if your wax is too hot, it won't hold the scent of the essential oils we're using. Oh, good to know, I didn't know that. All right, now that that is done melting, we're gonna add our essential oils to it. So okay. go ahead, Shyla. So 30 drops of balsam fir. So I did 30 drops of the balsam fir and then 10 drops of the cassia. And I gotta stir that, where did my handy dandy, wow, he really blends in down there. And while she's stirring it, I'm gonna put a little bit of the wax on the bottom of the wick. It smells really nice. And I'm gonna use that to help glue the wick down and I'm gonna make sure it's in the center. Looks pretty center. Yeah. And Shyla's gonna, it's all stirred up? Mm -hmm. All right, so Shyla's gonna go ahead and pour that in. So to make sure this wick stays in the middle, we're gonna prop it upright. This is a pretty sturdy wick, so it'll probably stay there by itself, but we'll just give it a little bit of help. And you can use a pencil or a spoon or anything to just kind of help hold it upright. Perfect. All right, cool. So we'll let that cool. Mm -hmm. um, once it's cooled, it'll be solid. And that'll take about an hour or less. And once it's done that, it's ready to go. And then you're gonna wanna trim the wick down also yet at the end. Yep, to about a quarter inch in height. Mm -hmm. So when your candle is all set like it is now, you can trim your wick. Good. A little bit lower. That's good. Like so, and make sure you label it so you can remember how you made this amazing candle. So you just cut off your label. There's little tabs on the back here. And then let's put this one on the bottom and it sticks right on there. So to find out more recipes like this, go to our website and check out all the other recipes we have on there. Yep, simplyearth.com. All right, see you guys later.